Hey, it's Rachel. So for today's video, I wanted to do a non-bikini competition related video, but actually continue my series from the spring that I never finished my 30 days to healthy. But first, I feel like I should just mention this and throw it out there, but hello, I have over a thousand subscribers. Hi, I'm Rachel. You watch me? Like, ah, that's so cool. Uh, when I first started making this channel back in January, I made this like silly goal where I was like, oh man, if I could get a hundred subscribers by the end of the year, that would be so cool. So. Thank you for subscribing and for watching my videos and commenting. I love connecting with you guys. That is the reason why I'm here. This is not my full-time job. I have a day job. I do this for fun to connect with you guys. It's what I love, so thanks. Okay, back to the topic of this video, which is overeating. Now, I have two healthy habits, hence why this fits perfectly with my 30 Days to Healthy series. But I started two habits uh, within the last week or so that have been incredibly helpful and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So, number one, and comment down below if you have ever felt this way. Let's say you are on a diet, because everybody's on a diet, we're all trying to lose weight, we're all trying to get toned, it's summer, I get it. But you are on a diet and you are eating your lunch and you finish your lunch and you think, oh my goodness, I'm still hungry. Like, that wasn't enough food. And so maybe you go back to the cafeteria to get a second helping or back to the kitchen to get to a second helping and you eat that second helping and sometime in the middle of that second helping, you suddenly realize that you are disgustingly full and you wish you hadn't had that second helping. Yes, yes. So last week, last week, two weeks ago, I was eating my lunch and I finished it and I suddenly got this feeling of, oh my goodness, I'm still hungry, I need to eat, I need to eat, I need to eat, except that I had already planned out my day and that was all the food that I had planned out for lunch. And I realized what was happening was my body was switching into fight or flight mode. It's basically your body's instinct that there is a danger or a threat or just something that you need to react to right away. So my body was thinking, Rachel, you are still hungry and that wasn't enough and you have to go out and, and eat all the food right now because you might not get it later. You can't make decisions rational decisions when you are in fight or flight mode. You are acting instinctually and emotionally and that doesn't work when you are trying to think, am I actually hungry or not? So I did something. I told myself that I was gonna wait 15 minutes. And I even think I like tweeted about it or something like that. And in 15 minutes, if I still am if I am still hungry in 15 minutes, I will let myself eat more food. Well, what happened? In 15 minutes, I wasn't hungry. I could make that realization logically because I didn't have that fight or flight mode turned on, if that makes sense. So tip number one is eat your meal and then if you think you are still hungry and you want to go back for second helpings or dessert or something else or whatever, wait 10 to 15 minutes. Wait for your brain to catch up with your stomach and wait for any fight or flight mode that might be turned on to be turned off. It seems really simple and kind of like a duh, Rachel, but I think that things like this are things that we are told over and over again and for some reason, even I forget to actually do. Tip number two, 
this might be more of a bikini competition tip i'm not really sure but i think this will apply to everybody i was over at my cousins the ones where i dog sit which i've shown you winston on this channel and we were all hanging out as a family and they had this amazing spread of baby carrots and broccoli and pita chips and hummus and all incredibly healthy healthy things and i thought oh i you know i'm gonna have a little bit of this and some carrots and some hummus and i was hungry and i just kept eating it and eating it and eating it to the point where i knew i was full but it was in front of me and i wasn't thinking logically and i was doing it mindlessly and i ate way too much healthy food that's fine but i am on bikini prep and i need to not be stuffing my face with hummus and pita chips and even carrots like i have to limit it i really had to take a step back and think why did i do that i have been hearing a little bit i haven't done too much research let me know in the comments below if you guys have heard of this theory before there are two different types of people when it comes to food choices they are the people who are i think called moderators where you can have a little bit of chocolate a little bit of ice cream and you're fine and you won't overeat it but if you're told you can't have it you'll binge and then there are the abstainers who if they have a little bit of chocolate all hell breaks loose and they just have a ton of it but if they're just told nope can't have any of it it's a lot easier for them to make a decision so i am a mix of both but in this case specifically i need to be an abstainer what works really well for me is bringing my own food now i'm on bikini prep so it's not too weird for me to show up with tupperware of my own food if you are doing the whole 30 or any sort of diet restriction let's say you're just trying to be gluten free show up with your own food why not it's not a big deal and bring food that you like by the way don't bring food that sucks right you're in charge of your meals make them good but i from now on have been bringing my own food to things i went to this bike festival called, called the tour de fat i brought my own food and by doing that i have been so less stressed out because everything's already planned for me the food i know i made is delicious so i have no problems eating it and i can just abstain from all of the food trucks and the nachos and the whatever everybody else is eating and it's just easy i can just say no so tip number two is kind of weird it's really think hard if you are a moderator or an abstainer and if you are a person that just no you just can't take one bite of anything because once you start it's really hard to stop consider bringing your own food to things or telling yourself no i'm just not i'm just not going to eat any of that right now so those are my two tips or two things that i have been doing these past couple weeks that i think are really helpful or hopefully will be helpful to you guys and i need to go because a the sun is setting and b i still i'm going to the gym because it's leg day so i got to go uh i'm looking around thinking like is there anything else i need to say in this video no you've said it all rachel and then some so i am going to end this video here Give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have heard of that moderator and abstainer and who came up with that. I have no idea, 
put that in the comments below because I need to go research that more and yeah that's it all right bye guys hey it's Rachel and my battery's about to die hold up and when that when you know you talk a lot why are you talking so much <laughs>